Hello everyone, a quick video on this Larson and Ericsson watch. This model is the Scala. The dimensions are 35 millimeters case diameter. The lug to lug is 42 millimeters. The thickness is only seven millimeters to a flat mineral crystal. The lug width is 16 millimeters. It comes with this leather band double keepers uh, one of the keepers is adjustable quick release spring bars genuine calf leather snapback case back 50 meters of water resistance push pull crown and the crown is signed with the um, larson and erickson logo as well as the buckle and tang, which is stainless steel PVD coated. You have the logo right there. The case is made out of 316L stainless steel and it is PVD coated. The dial is simply beautiful. It is a, a crisp white and the uh, Arabic numerals, and it has uh, a little bit of the texture, sort of like a, a pizza pie with uh, all those lines going to each numeral. And it has a minute track, believe it or not. You can see it right there. Two hands, no second hand for this one. Single uh, click position. All you have to do is click it once and adjust the time. It comes in this uh, nice pouch that goes inside this magnetic closure box, inside this sleeve. Very giftable, uh, very good packaging. And uh, I'm going to put it on so you can see how it wears on my wrist. For reference, I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist. And as you can see right here, Still got a couple of holes to go, so uh, seven and a half, it, it would fit. Because it is all dial, um, it, it wears bigger than its size. So for comparison, I have here my Casio F105W. They are the same dimensions, 35 millimeters each. And um, the weight of this watch is 1.1 ounces or 32 grams also for comparison this casio f105 is 25 grams so very similar uh weight and size i would give this watch five stars but i have to give it four and i say i have to because unfortunately and uh to my disappointment when you pull the crown to set the time, you go ahead, it's very simple, obviously, it's only two hands. You set the time, and when you push it back in, the hand jumps either forwards or backwards. And uh, it is very, very difficult to set it to an exact minute. For example, if you want to set the time at uh, uh, 340, and you wait for the 340 so you can set it right on top of that number 8, the moment you push it in, it jumps either backwards or forwards. I have tried countless times, and I can't uh, get it to stay um, in one single spot. So I'm deducting one star because of that. Uh, for this price, uh, these uh, watches are handmade in Denmark. I would expect a better quality. So four stars, and it is a beautiful watch.